We are all adjusting to a new normal, and we can't let our furry friends be an afterthought. We're not only stuck at home, but we're also limiting our time outdoors and social distancing ourselves from others. All of these things combined actually present a major life change for our pets as well. We are joined this morning by professional dog trainer, uh, uh, the National Dog Training Operations Manager at Petco, Darius Cooper, with some advice. Darius, good morning to you. Good morning, man. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. So I have to tell you, I have an 11-year-old Boston Terrier at home who uh, gives me a look where I think he's wondering why we are home more often in his house. Uh, so I can definitely tell it's an adjustment for our pets as well. What's the number one thing we can do uh, to keep our pets safe and kind of help them, too, with this adjustment right now? Right, so we're certainly learning as we go, and that includes our, our companions uh, as well. So one thing I can tell you right now, keeping their minds happy, healthy, and busy will be really important. And of course, maintaining their health and wellness routine, including yours, is going to be really important during this time. Uh, when you think about their daily grooming routines, that's going to be also going to be very crucial. So the bathing, the brushing, and of course, those baths. Now, physical exercise and mental stimulation is equally as important to tire out their minds to keep them happy and healthy at home. Uh, what about routines too? I know like as a, as a human myself, I'm used to a routine. I thrive on that routine. It, pets get used to routines as well too, don't they? They do, and, and routines certainly are off, right? So some of our walks are going to be probably sh shorter than others, and in some cases, no walks at all. Uh, some dogs thrive with routines, but the great thing about animals is that they are really adaptable. And when we set them up for success, there's really nothing that we can achieve with them during this time. But again, training and having that relationship really does help to reinforce that trust, where they know regardless of what's going on in the outside world, they're always going to be safe at home with us. Yeah. Yeah, and pets are so important during this time, I think, for us as well. There's, there's a sense of comfort in uh, coming home to your animal, or if you are required to stay at home right now, it, there's a sense of comfort, too, of, of that bond with your pet, right? You know, it really is. You know, one beautiful thing about having having pets, whether it be a fish, a dog, a cat, a bird, is that at a time like this, they are providing us with unconditional love. And they're really teaching us to slow down and, and truly enjoy family time at a time that I think it's really needed. Uh, I'm curious. There's so many people who volunteer uh, at different animal shelters and things like that. Uh, that is obviously not possible with what what's happening with this pandemic. Is there a way that people who like to volunteer their time in a shelter or for some kind of nonprofit that deals with animals, is there a way to still get involved and give back right now? Absolutely. So one thing is for sure, animal rescue organizations across this country, they are not immune to the impacts of COVID-19. Uh, in fact, some are experiencing an influx of animals coming through their doors, staffing shortages, and in some cases, unfortunately, shutting down altogether. So fostering and adopting dogs short term and long term really can go a long way in supporting shelter pets. And of course, you can also make monetary donations to your local shelter. Uh, Darius, any advice moving forward? Uh, we know some states are being hit harder than others right now. So those stay-at-home orders were here in New York, uh, extended through another month or at least until the middle of May. Any advice moving forward on what we can do with our pets and, and what we should be doing as this continues on for a while? Right. So, you know, one thing is for certain, um, I said, as I said earlier, the, the pets are super adaptable. Um, we want to make sure that every minute of their day is enriching. So keeping their minds busy, giving them something to do, training again, always falling back on training, uh, really does help to reinforce desired behaviors. And also, training is also gonna be able to set them up for success when things get back to normal. Uh, because when you think about it, at some point we are gonna be going back out to the dog park, at some point we are gonna be going back out in public, and this is a great time to set them up for that transition back to normal life. Yeah, Darius, great information. Uh, thank you for your time this morning. Really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we'll keep in touch and be out of this soon. Yes, Local headlines. Stay safe. Have a great day. You as well. Local headlines coming up next.